Hello good people! We have another exciting tutorial for you today, but first off, I'm actually filming this tutorial during my live stream competition, I released a video about it Monday, so if you're not here, well, you should be here, so just click on that link on the right and you will come here and enjoy all the fun that's going on, we got plenty of giveaways, plenty of karaoke, and other fun things. But anyway, let's get on with the tutorial. So today's tutorial is actually going to be about how to make your own application, and even possibly a web browser. Now this is a little bit of a cheap way to do it because you're not doing coding, you're using another program to make a program. And that program is called Fluid. And what really Fluid is, it's site-specific browsing. And what that means is that it takes one site and it just allows you to be at that one site. So like, I'll show you an example right here. I'll do one of YouTube. Name, I'll call it you. I'm going to use the favorite con, but the favorite con is going to look a little messed up because YouTube has a weird favorite con, believe it or not. So I'm just going to click create. It takes a couple seconds. Alright, that's okay. I don't need fluid. We can quit out of that. Yeah, see how the favorite con's messed up a little bit? That's alright. So, I'm just going to drag that to the dock so you can see this perspective. So now if I wanted to and I wanted to open it up, I would click on it. And it would open up as you can see. And right here, it's opening up straight to YouTube. So anytime I need a quick way to get to YouTube, bam, all right, I have this application that I just made. And you can do this for any sort of website. It's pretty. It's actually pretty fascinating, and you can make a lot of neat little shortcuts with it. But now I'm going to show you guys how you can turn this basic thing into a possible web browser. So just simply by going to whatever the name of the application is, and then Preferences, going under Advanced, and clicking allow any URL, allow browsing to any URL, click that. And you click this little button in the top right, menu bar or drop down, right here, and I could easily go to google.com. And there, this actually comes with some pretty cool features that you can use. So I'm just gonna do a basic search for Apple. And then if I click this button right here all the way on the right, it's like a cover flow button, I'll zoom in just right there. There my mouse is over it. So if I click that, I get this little cover flow thing, and once the previews load, basically what it's going to do is it's just going to give you a preview of what the site looks like so you know before you go to it. It's actually a pretty cool feature, and this was actually in Fluid before Safari 4 came out. Another cool feature is this button right next to the cover flow feature. I don't really know what they have names. They kind of look like ninja stars. So if I click the one on the left, I get this panel right here. And on this panel, I will would naturally be able to enter a URL and go to another site. Oh, the bar just popped up. So let's say I wanted to go back to YouTube. I'll make sure I spell it correctly, youtube.com. Get rid of that. So right here, bam, I'm back on YouTube. If I do it to the other side, right here I can get another one. And I can get a whole completely different thing. And actually, another cool feature about this is that you can customize the window. I have mine set to black. Actually, it's naturally back black because the theme has changed. But if your theme doesn't change, there's a lot of skins you can choose from. So Fluid is actually a very useful app. It can create shortcuts, and you can even make your own web browser and say that you did all the coding and all that. So it's a pretty cool application. So the link to Fluid will be in the right. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Hopefully you guys will come up to my stream and support me. And take care.